All right, guys, this is Kobe Shorts, the director of the short film. And um, yeah, I really enjoyed myself throughout the entirety of the whole production. Hello, everyone. My name is Efia. I play the role as Docker in the short film. Hi, guys. My name is Kwame Pipra, and I play the role as the villain. My lead role, that's Docker or Efia, did a very awesome work because um, I didn't really expect the kind of performance she put up. She told me that she wasn't that confident and she didn't really feel up to it. But I told her something that I always believe in that. If you can lie, then it means you've acted before. And so everyone can act. And that's what I live by. And I think the number of productions that I've done myself, I've worked with a couple of people who had no idea, who had no experience in that particular production. So this being a film and having someone who has zero to no experience whatsoever. It was actually a challenging one. This set has been one of the most challenging. Someone will ask why, because there's no dialogue and everything, but um, you know, it's a forest, you understand? And the positioning and all of that, if you don't take care, you're going to ruin everything. So I think it was very challenging, but it's one of the projects that I'm looking forward to seeing a good outcome. So I think it, 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 it's a good project that you all should just watch out for. Yo, my name is Kwabina Banana, and then today in this production, I play the role um, taking in charge of the behind the scenes. The one that you are watching right now, yeah, I'm, I'm the one in charge of it. My experience wasn't bad at all, because today was my first time acting, so it wasn't easy at all, but I managed to do it, and then I believe um, everybody can be able to act like I did so I hope you guys like the film and then you you appreciate our work. Directing her wasn't that difficult I would say though she thought in herself that she was actually wasting our time which in actual sense she was but I, as a director I had to you know calm her nerves to make her feel at ease so that she could put up her best and that's exactly what she did and the whole production was a wonderful one. Zito is someone that I've worked with um, in school, back in school. We did Macbeth, I acted as Benko and he acted as one of the characters, I cannot really really remember but he played the role on that particular theatrical film and it wasn't a bad one at all and I've also seen him in a couple of uh, films and he's also a model so I see what he does and his confidence actually drove me to cast him as the villain or the antagonist of the whole film. And he did an awesome work as I expected. When Kobe told me about the lead act, that was um, Efia, I asked him, oh, is she good? That's what I asked, honestly. He was like, oh, she's very good. So when I came, she told me it was her first time. I was like, I was having doubts, honestly. Like being your first time and Kobe saying you are good, like, ah. <laughs> is, is that true? But when she started, I think she was a bit nervous, but <laughs> trust me, when Kobe directed her and like, we showed her a little bit of touches and all of that, <laughs> forget it. I know you, you all should expect something big, because she nailed it. I was, I was surprised, like it being her first time, and the way she was acting, all surprised, scary, scared, I mean, I, she's very good. She's very good, like, she beat my expectation. That's it. She did my expectations. It's very good. Kobe told me about this short film and then I decided to jump on board and then get to help him with the production, as you all know. Um, it, it, it's been a lovely one, you know. Uh, I, I really enjoyed watching him run here and there, Charlie. It was, it, it was something that, at least, um, very productive. And then I'm, I'm hoping you guys will watch out and then um, see something big in this project. Kobe, as you know, Kobe shot the director has been an old time friend and I find when he called me and gave me the script <laughs> it was a bit challenging because there's no dialogue it's all about actions and a movie without dialogue and all actions it's very challenging and he, I, I, I think he's a good director he's multi-talented a cinematographer, director you know an actor to act well and he, he's a good director and um, I think Ghana should really watch out for him that's all I can see. Ghana should watch out for him. Kobe Shots was um, very patient with me. At some point, I, I almost give up. Like, 
I almost lost my, my confidence and everything. Like I wanted to stop everything. But he gave me the, um, the encouragement that I could do it. So I just, I, I did me and then he also helped me a lot. You know, one may ask, shooting a horror film and watching is the same. Nah, it's never the same because you know, when you are acting it, it will be cut, you wait. Like, it's not really scary as you think, as watching. But you know when you are watching, it's very scary. The way the feeling will just come out from nowhere and all of that. It's very scary, but when you are acting, it's different. Because you cut, you wait, they will shoot this. Like, you know, it's totally different. Banana, being in charge of the behind the scenes also did a wonderful work. Because I always want to, you know, have some production sense and how I work. I want to see myself how I work so that I, I will know the next time on the next production what to change and what to better. So it was a total great job that we all put in. As you all know, Kobe Short, he does the magic always. And then expect something big. This time, it's a short film, something horror. I wonder after watching and then there's no lights, there are lights out, Charlie. You, you, see, you see this short film visiting your, in your bed, in your dreams. Charlie, expect something big. No disappointment. Something big. One thing that I really cherish is teamwork. It helps the whole production to be managed by different departments and uh, it actually fosters the whole production sequence. And because everyone has a particular role to play, it enables every department to put out their best and work efficiently. And that's the reason why I really love teamwork. And for this particular production, everyone did their best. To be frank, they did their very best because they put in their all. I want to make it very clear that I am someone who really loves writing horror films. I love watching horror films and it's a genre that I find myself drawing towards. And what actually gave me the motivation to put this all together um, was a sh I think a horror film that I was watching on YouTube and I gathered a couple of ideas and concepts, put it all together, added my, 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 my spin to it and it became unique. So um, I didn't particularly put any scripts down because there was no dialogue. In fact, no dialogue and even the sound that you're going to hear from this film is all going to be manually tailored in the Premiere Pro, in the post-production process. And that tells you how much work that we put in to make the sound as best as possible. And um, the casting wasn't a difficult one. I thought about a couple of people, but I always have this in mind that I'm going to work with people who are willing and people who are so, you know, enthused about doing filmmaking. And that's what actually fueled the whole process and made it very easy to work. Okay, so guys, expect nothing but the best, as I said before, and I have a couple more to also show you. This is actually going to happen, or it's going to be premiered on my YouTube channel. So if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do that and turn on the post notification button to be always notified of future videos that I'll be posting or uploading here on my YouTube channel. So until the next video, just as I always say, see ya.